Hello there, Chaz here, and I am messing about in Minecraft. I'm actually in Minecraft 1.8.9 right now. Um, I have Forge installed, so I actually have uh, Computer Craft installed. This is the only mod I've got on here, because I absolutely adore Computer Craft. And I've been learning a lot more about it every time I go back to start you know, making more programs. So today I want to show off uh, one of the new features that's going to be in uh, Computer Craft 1.78. I'm looking forward to the you know to the 1.8 mod packs coming out soon because oh my god, check this out. These are Ender modems. Basically, they're like wireless modems except they have an absurdly huge range, something like two billion blocks or something like that. I I can't tell, and they can communicate across dimensions as well. Um, so I have a GPS uh, cluster set up here. This is basically like a GPS tower. I know GPSs are... I, actually, I don't really know how GPSs normally work, but you know, I, I figured they would involve like space satellites or something like that. But this one's just like a... I guess like a positioning tower, really. So this one here is set at 00104. So this considers itself to be the center of the world, basically. Um... And then there are three here. Uh, so this one is at negative two, three, one, oh, one. Uh, this one is at two, three, one, oh, one. And this one is at zero, negative three, one, oh, one. So they are basically able to trilaterate their position from that. I think that's what it is. It's I read up on it on the computer craft wiki, and it's about like trilateration or something like that. So I've got a couple things done here. So let's go ahead and set the time to. 1000. I was just goofing about in creative mode. And let's clear the weather. It never fails to interrupt me while I'm in the middle of doing this. It's, it's kind of crazy how frequent that weather is. Okay. So, I've done a thing here. There is a... Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show off how the GPS thing works. So, GPS locate. Um, so, it tells me how far I am from each... Uh, yeah, from each computer, and my uh, phone's beeping again, don't worry about that. And then it tells me what my position is, uh, pretty much relative to the tower. The tower considers itself the center of the world, basically. It's a selfish bastard like that. Uh, <laughs> um, but I did set it up so that it uh, considers the height of the computer to be the actual height um, of the Minecraft world. So if I like turn on my F3 menu real quick, you'll see I'm on block 66. So if I go ahead and do a GPS locate, it says I'm on 66.62, but, you know, it's close enough, I suppose. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and, you know, like round it down, I think it's fine. So, here, uh, I have a little home. And so, as much as the default GPS locate program can tell me my position, it doesn't really have a way of telling me how far I am from where I consider to be home. So, I wrote up a couple of programs to help with that, and I got some help from Dragon53535 on the forums. Thank you, uh, Dragon, for helping me get this all set up. So, edit set home, and this basically, what it does is it takes variables x, y, z from gps.locate. So basically, it grabs your x, y, z coordinates from the GPS locate program, or like, yeah, the GPS locate function. And then it forms a table with them so that uh, you now have coordinates x, y, and z. And then it writes it to a file uh, and serializes it, basically. Um, which basically makes it easier to store. So let's go ahead and try that out. So it is set pause, oh wait, no, uh, set home. Saving current location as home. So now if I go into my data folder here, actually I can, do, I can just do edit data home pause. You will see that it has saved my x, y, and z coordinates as 40, minus 6, and 64. Okay. And then edit locate. I should probably rename that actually. Um, yeah, I'll do that real quick. Um, if you ever want to rename a file, it is mv, whatever file you want to rename, and then what you want to rename it to, so, uh, distance. <clears throat> uh, 
and now it is called distance. So let's edit distance and you'll see how it works. So it opens up the home pause file, unserializes the data, uh, and makes it into a table again. And then uh, it takes your current location and then subtracts the uh, yeah subtracts the uh, positions in the table from uh, your current location and then at that point it then adds the three values together and then turns it into an absolute value so even if it's a negative value it will just tell you the absolute value and then it uh, runs it down and gives you a fairly basic uh, dis you know, idea of how many meters you are from home so let's go ahead and test it out. So, as I did already, sent home. And that's now my home. So now I have a walk over this way. And then do distance. I'm 15 meters away from home. That's pretty cool. Now you're probably wondering if it's accurate at all. So what I've done here is this is basically a 10 meter block. Or yeah, like a 10 meter long uh, strip. So, over here is like the start point. I'll mark that out with a block of redstone actually. So this is your start point, and then that is 10 meters. So if I set my home here, and then walk over to the end of this, I should be 10 meters away, right? I'm 10 meters away from home. So it's accurate. Um, it might not help you like, absolutely pinpoint your location but you know for instance if you're like over here and you go distance I'm 34 meters away from home so then you start walking around and then it says I'm 23 meters away from home so you know that if you walk in this direction you'll get closer to your home so it's it should it should help you I mean obviously there's minimap mods and stuff but honestly this is a fun little project to do I I'm learning more about how tables work uh, again, thanks to Dragon53535 on the Computercraft forums. And in fact, thanks to everybody on the Computercraft forums, because uh, you guys have been incredibly helpful and incredibly patient in you know helping me understand how stuff works with Lua. And I think some of it's actually starting to stick in my head now. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yep, 77 meters away from home. So yeah. That is the small GPS location program. And you know what? Uh, while I'm here, just before I end the video, I'm going to go ahead and put all that up on... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put all that up in pastebin. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. Bear in mind, I, I haven't set it up to automatically create a data directory. So you are going to have to make one uh, when you get these programs. So paste bin put and yeah paste bin put god give me a sec okay paste bin put set home sorry if I'm like a little bit out of it I'm not quite feeling too great today I just decided to do this video to uh, take my mind off stuff so yeah that is paste bin put set home and paste bin put uh, distance and so you download those two you set up a data folder in your uh, yeah data directory in your uh, computer you have to make sure you've got a GPS cluster as well um, because otherwise it's not gonna work it's weather again and yeah so thank you for watching and I shall see you later bye bye